Welcome to a brand new video. This week officially kickstarts 2020. It's really the, the first business week after the holidays. So I just wanna show you guys what my whole week is looking like um, in terms of sales calls, in terms of uh, discovery calls, in terms of strategy sessions. Just wanna show you guys what the whole week is looking like, uh, just to give you an idea. Here we are inside my Acuity scheduler and here we can see we've got a meeting on Monday, one meeting on Tuesday, three meetings tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Then we've got three meetings on Thursday and on Friday. Uh, I actually have one meeting. Uh, it wasn't booked through me. It was, they actually booked it for me because there's gonna be uh, more than one person involved. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's my third touch point with this uh, company. Uh, and so, yeah, that's gonna be on Friday. And I actually wanna show you guys uh, without obviously, you know, obviously still keeping the, um, still keeping the privacy. All oh, right, so audio actually cut out. Uh, so as we can see here, I've got on Monday a strategy session, then on Tuesday, I've got a discovery call. Then on Wednesday, I've got uh, the big day with three new discovery calls. On Thursday, I actually have another three discovery calls. The reason why there's an orange one there is because that one came through a different funnel. If you wanna check out why that is, uh, go ahead and check out my video on how to automate your outreach and on Friday, I've got that one uh, meeting that uh, hasn't uh, inputted on Acuity. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys that is because in this video, what I wanna cover is the three keys to a massively successful client meeting where you have the meeting and you actually close them, whether that's on, on that first meeting or on uh, later uh, meetings with them because, you know, obviously you have to understand that big clients uh, usually require a vetting process and you might have meeting one, meeting two, meeting three with them. But the point is, during the, the past few days, I've been getting a ton of questions from people about client meetings, whether whether it's how to set them, how to land them, uh, and also what to tell the client in the meeting to actually close them. And so what I wanted to do is just shoot this very, you know, off the cuff video to actually go over this topic that I, I feel like a lot of people uh, get wrong. I feel like a lot of people put the, the you know, the attention on the wrong places and they go, they go about it on, on a, in a way that's not really benefiting them or the client that you're actually talking to. So the three keys that I found uh, absolutely essential to close the meetings and, and how really how I plan to close um, all those meetings that I have this week uh, back from the holidays is number one, absolutely low pressure. That's that's really one, one of the things that you have to keep in mind and that's really one of the things that I see a lot of people get wrong. They make this, you know, they make this huge ordeal about, about the client meeting, right? It, it, it almost feels like they're forcing the client towards a path that the client might not even need, right? Or, or, or they're forcing the client towards a solution that they, that, uh, to, a, to a solution that the client might not even uh, need. Or even if the client does need that solution, you haven't, you know, you haven't really properly listened to the problems they're facing to actually offer that solution. And so, you know, and, and the, the reason why I'm telling you guys this, and, and the reason, you know, one, one of the things that I take great pride is I'm actually speaking from experience. All this stuff I've, I've experienced myself uh, in my years of business. And, and so that's why I can speak about it because I've struggled with it my, myself. I've seen tons of colleagues and, and people in the space struggle with it as well. And so I searched for a solution, applied it and got, you know, much better results. And so what I've found is that when you make this meeting, when, when you when you make this meeting, very low pressure when you kind of sit back and relax and just have a normal human to human conversation with the client in, instead of actually you know sticking to a script or whatever it is the, the client meetings go infinitely much better right because you're you're much more loose you're much more relaxed uh, the client doesn't feel forced the client doesn't feel like they need to to you know make a decision but ironically that helps them make that uh, the decision because they they don't feel any neediness from you. They don't. They don't feel like you're desperate. So really making it as low pressure as you can possibly can will help you so so much. Uh, so that's really the first thing. The second thing is provide massive value. Just focus on providing a ton of value upfront. Make that your your number one top priority when you're going into that meeting. I feel like a lot of people focus more on on the on the sales sales sales. And um, don't get me wrong. You know I love you know sales outreach that's really one of the things that i'm really really passionate about because that's really the biggest roadblock biggest bottleneck that i see agency owners have and once you know that's fixed you know almost all the, all the pieces of the puzzle just come together and really everything you know takes off uh, from that point on, onwards but there's a little dichotomy here right you you know you want to focus on sales you want to focus on, on outreach but it should be the right approach the best approach to sales 
is providing just a ton of value up front. A lot, I feel like a lot of people, and this was certainly me when I was starting out, um, I felt like if I provided way, way too much value in the meeting, then they would, you know, they, they would just take that value and, and not really need my service. And do bear in mind that that has happened, right? You know, I, I've I've had client meetings where I've, pro, I've really provided so much value, almost like a almost like a step by step blueprint, uh, where the client has you know where the prospect has, has really taken that, applied it, and really got you know really got uh, great results. In, in fact, I had a prospect write to me uh, after you know I think it was a month after a meeting, uh, and he was you know completely honest, right? He told me obviously it wasn't a, a very good fit um, when we spoke, and, and he told me he had applied. Um, everything of what we had spoken about and he had been of tremendous value um, but I'm not you know it's not like a butter about it in fact I'm, I'm extremely extremely happy for that client I'm extremely happy that they could implement uh, some of the, the strategies that I covered um, because the thing you have to realize is once you give a, a ton of value you will receive a ton of value you might not be directly uh, them become uh, becoming your client but it might be them referring you to to someone else or um, even better then becoming a client of, of yours, right? When, when you make providing uh, value uh, the top priority, you, you first establish massive uh, authority without playing this psychological uh, tricks, this, this salesy hacks, and it makes the conversion from prospect to client so much easier because they can really see this guy knows his, his stuff. If he's giving all this away for free, if he's investing so much into just this one 30 minute discovery call, I, I, can't, I can't even, imagine what what the service is going to be like and that's what you want your prospects to think um you know i i, I feel like and and a lot of the, the clients i speak to a lot of the prospects that i that i speak to on uh, discovery calls they feel like they owe me something at the end of it they feel like you know they they, they could have just never imagined that i would provide so much value up front uh, and and they just feel you know the the love reciprocity really kicks in and they feel like they owe me something whether it's to to become a client and pay for my services or just refer my services to someone else. And so, yeah, that's the second thing. Provide as much value as you can possibly uh, as you possibly can. Do not feel, do not hold back. Do not end the meeting and feel like you could have given more value. Do not, do not end the meeting and, and feel like you held back onto some golden nuggets, right? Just give everything you possibly can on that meeting and it'll make the conversion so much easier. And so, yeah, that's that's really uh, value-based selling and um, it's, it's worked tremendously well for, for me. Uh, and it, it's, it just, it really just takes off so much burden, so much pressure from the sales um, because you don't have to, you know, you have to memorize specific phrases or specific words. Bear in mind that that's all important, you know, psychologically not using specific words, you know, psychologically be, being able to phrase things in, in the right way and, and psychologically getting them involved into the sale. But value-based selling really as a beginner is the best way to go about it. That is really the second key to a, an immensely successful meeting. Last key to an extremely successful meeting is being completely free of outcome. What I mean by this is having the client's benefit as your number one priority. What you have to realize is that the client, the, the, the client does not care about you. And that's really the, the rule, rule number one of advertising. The prospect, the, the potential customer does not care about you or your business or your brand. What they care about is how well can you solve their problems, how effectively can you solve their problems, how cost effective can you solve their problems, um, and, and how quickly can you solve their problems. All they care about is their own life, their, the problems they're facing, and how they can really free themselves of pain or pursue pleasure or gain, gain something of, of, of value, right? But what this means is if the right course of action for them is not your service, you should make that very clear to them. If what's going to benefit them the most is not the solution you're providing, making it you know make it very clear for for them. If your your service encompasses something that they don't need, make it very clear for them. You know, make it very clear that they only need you know maybe two two different uh, components or aspects to your service. Give them the course of action that they need, not what you want them to have or what, what you want them to need, and that will really show and pay massive dividends when it comes to to them converting to a client because, you know. What what I've come to see, what what you know, really what I've come to realize is that when you when you almost want it to happen way too much, when you almost need the sale way too much, it's very very hard to get that sale because you know, as I said, people can really tell uh, when someone's needy or desperate for for something, and it really it really pushes them away from you. Instead, when you act in abundance, when you act, when you have their priority in mind, when you have their benefit in mind, and and you use that as your guide. 
the client can tell that from miles away and they'll build so much trust towards you that it'll make the sales so, so much easier. And so, yeah, those are really the, the three keys to a, an extremely successful meeting. Number one, low pressure. Make it a, as, as low pressure as you possibly can. I do not force the client into anything that they don't need. Hear them out and listen to them and really just sit back, relax and have a, a, a just a human conversation with them. Number two is add massive value without expecting anything in return. Do not leave that meeting thinking you could have given more value, thinking you could have provided more value. Have it, have it so that they feel like they owe you something after the meeting is done. And number three is free of outcome. Generally put the, the benefit and the interest of the client as your top priority and guide them through the best path for them. And that mindset, that abundance mindset will really show up and really just translate into sales. So that is it for today's video. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be putting a, a whole a presentation, a whole slideshow on this topic, on, on the, the client meeting topic. More than the mindset, uh, on that slideshow, I'm gonna be going over some of the questions that you should ask, some of the, the topics that you should uh, cover with the prospect to lead them to that close, and, and really just very, very tangible and actionable strategies on that slideshow. And so if you wanna see that video, it's gonna be incredibly juicy go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet also if you enjoyed this video go ahead and uh, drop a like it really helps out a ton with the algorithm leave in the comments any questions uh, you may have any other topic ideas that you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos and lastly guys if you haven't done so already i put together a completely free uh, facebook group and i've, I've actually capped it at 100 people uh, for now what i can tell you is that this facebook group is going to be filled with like-minded people really pushing for the same goal uh, and, and just an incredibly uh, supportive community. You know, th there's gonna be myself in it. Also, I've, um, I've got a, a, a team of admins on that group as well to help you with any questions you may have, with any uh, you know problems that you may be facing throughout the journey. Really, it's gonna be a game changer of a, a community. I invite you to join before space uh, runs out and we decide, um, we decide to uh, close off applications. So that is that. And lastly, guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, here is my... Um, Here's my username and I'm going to be putting out a ton of content on Instagram that I'm not going to be putting out on YouTube. And so if you want to follow me there, uh, go ahead and do so. And as always, guys, I hope everything's going well with your agency journey. Hope you're killing it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.